Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of Immigration Fridays. I'm your host Prashanti Reddy and we're here again to navigate the ever-evolving maze of U.S. immigration. Last week, USCIS announced the second H-1B lottery. And since then, we've been getting a lot of questions on our social media on when the lottery will be held, uh, how it will be held, what to expect, etc., etc. So we decided to do another episode on H-1B lotteries. So what can we expect from the second H-1B lottery selection? What happens now? Now we will receive lottery results on our online system. To learn the lottery results, attorneys and companies, authorized signators need to access their USCIS.gov accounts. For each registered beneficiary, the USCIS online system will reflect one of the following statuses. So it will either say selected, that is if your lottery has been selected, or it will be submitted, that is your lottery has been submitted but not yet selected and not yet denied either. So it's, de it's denied, the third type of system could be denied. A duplicate registration was submitted, therefore it got denied. Or the payment didn't go through, therefore your registration got denied. So that's when you will see uh, denied come up on your status. Invalidated, failed payment. This is very specific. If you've done a registration and your payment didn't go through, please check. It could say invalidated or failed payment. This can happen even several weeks after the registration process which took place in March because sometimes the payment um, does not go through until you know several weeks later. So sometimes there's a delayed um, message on your web portal. So please make sure to cross check. Not selected. This is if you're not eligible to file a H-1B petition based on this registration, then it's not selected. Meaning that if you are not selected in the lottery, then that comes up as not selected. So right now you will not see not selected. They will wait until all the, the lotteries have been done and until they have received 85,000 cases um, to fulfill the cap requirement. And then the process is that they will change the system results to not selected or selected, etc. So it will either be denied, not selected, selected or invalidated payment. But we have to wait for that non not selected message to come up and that will only come up once they have finally received all the numbers required and they have decided not to do another lottery. So now that you go check into your portal and you see that the system says that it's selected, that means you have a chance now to file your H-1B. What happens? What is the process? How much time do you have to file your H-1B? In the selection, um, when you get a notification of selected, then you will also get a notice which you can then download from your portal. And the notice will tell you that your registration has been selected. The notice also will tell you where to file your H-1B petition and also when was the last date to file your H-1B petition. Usually from the selected date, you get 90 days to file your H-1B petition. So. For example, if I get a selection notice on August 6th or August 7th, then the selection notice will say you can file until November 7th, which is the 90 days, right? So that's how you know when is the last date to file. What happens if you don't file by that date? Unfortunately, if you do not file by that date, or if your petition comes back after the end of that date, then you will not be eligible to file under this year's lottery and you will have to again file for a lottery next year. So that is um, what you can expect if you don't file on time or if you don't file properly and your case comes back after that the last date is over. What does this uh, lottery system mean for foreign inter nationals interested in um, filing for a H-1B petition? As I said, you will be able to file your H-1B petition for this year, if you're selected in the second lottery, if you get a selected notice, make sure you file before the deadline, make sure you file with the correct fees, make sure um, all the columns in the I-129 petitions, petition, all the forms are tick marked and filled out properly. 
and also make sure you send it to the right address. If you do all these things uh, and if you qualify for a H-1B, of course, most importantly, you have to qualify for a H-1B, meaning that your job should require a bachelor's degree in a specific field uh, and you sh your, the beneficiary should actually have that degree. If that happens, then you can definitely file your H-1B petition and expect that you'll get an approval. In addition, another criteria is that your employer should require a person in that particular job. Meaning it's not enough to just file, you have to also justify why the employer requ requires you. They may require you because they have sufficient business or they have that particular job for you. So they have to document the job. So these are a few criteria based on which your H-1B can get approved or denied. Now, possibility for a subsequent lottery. This is also a question that everyone asks because if they don't get selected in this lottery, they want to know if there's and the possibility that there will be another lottery. Now, the possibility of another lottery does exist. It depends on in the second round, how many people actually file their H-1B petition. So if they receive enough petitions, if they receive 85,000 uh, H-1B petitions, then they will not have a second lottery. But like previous years, if they do not receive enough petitions, then they might have a second lottery. So last year they conducted two lotteries, the, uh, the year before, in 2021, they conducted three lotteries. 2022, they had only one lottery. So every year it changes, depending on how many H-1Bs um, are actually filed after the lottery is selected. So what's next? What can you expect next going forward? If after the uh, announcement, your, lot, your H-1B has not yet been selected, wait and see, you see, we still have time. All the cases have not, all the lottery results have not yet been released. We are getting a few every day. We can expect all the uh, lottery results will be released in the next few days. And I'm expecting by next week, USCIS will announce that they have given us all the results and that they will, um, you know, and that, you know, we can start filing the petitions. So the results are not yet announced. Some have been announced. The announcements have been, have been trickling in. So wait and see for a few more days if um, you get your lottery approved. I think with that, it's a wrap. We can end our um, the session and we hope that you will join us for our next Immigration Friday session. And please like and subscribe to our channel so that you will get regular updates with reference to immigration law on our Friday immigration sessions. Thank you for hearing. Hope you have a great day. See you next Friday. Don't forget to subscribe to our videos if you like what you see. Also give us a thumbs up and share the video with your family and friends. Thank you.